Can't you make an exception just this once? It's an emergency. I'd like to. But if I let you in, then I'd have to let everybody in. Next thing you know, cannibalism is in, and they're making documentaries about us. You've never heard of this? You've never heard of Monkey Island? Wow, Jason. You must have been living under a rock if you've never heard of Monkey Island. <laughs> I bring a gift for the volcano god. Oh, we can't take gifts from outsiders. Government regulations, health codes, taboos, that sort of thing. I'll send him your regards, though. Monkey Island is like one of the most famous adventure games of all time. From 1990. This one's from 1998. Nice village you have. Thanks. It's not much, but we call it home. We've been doing our best to capture the classic charm of a headhunter village, while at the same time incorporating all the modern conveniences brought to us by the European explorers. You may have noticed our first state-of-the-art bloodletting clinic, which has been cleverly designed to look like a traditional shaman's hut. How quaint! Yes, we think so. Yes, Jaysing. If you definitely have never played a Monkey Island game before, you need to do it. You need to play it. Do you live in fear of the fruit fly menace? Not since I switched to a Malathion based cologne. Very alluring. Thank you. <laughs> Best game ever? What, you don't like it, Darko? Do they hassle you when you go through customs? You have no idea. You feel like you're not missing out? I'm thinking of becoming a cannibal. Do you have any previous experience? Well, I used to bite my fingernails. Hmm. Well, technically I'm not supposed to do this. But I like you. You got moxie. After the sacrifice, I'll get you started on your cannibalism orientation program. In just four short years, you'll be able to join us in the volcano ritual. Four years? Uh, wait a second. Did I say cannibal? I, I meant to say, uh, cannonball. I want to be a cannonball. Boom! <laughs> You're not quite stable, are you? <laughs> You're not quite stable. I'll, uh, see you around. You've asked me to play it? I remember you asking me to play Monkey Island, but I don't recall you asking me to play this Monkey Island. <laughs> but wait, there's more. This game is hilarious. The dialogue in this game will split your sides. Especially some of the earlier dialogue, which you missed out on. Ah, I've never been to the cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> Counting the noodles in your sauce. Well, not every game is for everyone. Your company name here. Blood Island Municipal Housing for the Deceased. Free dirt. <laughs> Free dirt. This seems like a kid's game. That could be said Says about Tex Venture. That could be said about all those. Part is trying to save the island. No, not really. He's just trying to free, uh, free that woman. Point and click, and it tells you how to add. It's a Blackbeard's deckmaker workbench. Lilies. How cliche. <laughs> mm, no. It's a scrap metal recycling bin. Oh yeah, point and click adventure games are not for mm, the ADD no. people, or the people that like games like Mario. It's a scrap metal recycling bin. It's kind of like um, fine wine. I don't think the dog would like that. <laughs> smelly dog. It's every bit as stinky as the rest of this dog. It says Old Blind Pew. 
<laughs> you grew up on Mario? I grew up on this. Someone should really learn to properly extinguish campfires. <laughs> you like beer better? So do I. I definitely love beer. Mallet. It's the gravedigger's chisel. The thing is, if you're a console gamer, then uh, you've pretty much never played a point and click. It's beginning to spell a word. What could it be? Rib roast? Rival <laughs> flavin? Point and clicks were always some uh, PC exclusive games. Sam Adams, huh? Awesome. <laughs> Seasonal. Looks like the grave digger is a little behind on his burials. Ooh, skeletal hook. Hmm. Can I yoink it? I already have enough <laughs> skeletal appendages. Ooh, a chimney. Hmm. Yeah, but point and clicks were mainly PC. I hope the owner of this shack doesn't sleep in that. I was from school, yeah. Mm, no. I can't see anyone in there right now. It's locked tight. Alright, let's get this dog. It's a pile of new tombstones. Yeah, see, Jason? I actually grew up on PC. I never got to have a Nintendo until Nintendo 64. That looks like a mask. Let's see. I've avoided dog grooming ever since that tragedy involving my aunt's poodle. <laughs> Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding. Old blind pew. Very social, I guess. Old blind pew. SNES and N64, and then PS2. Yeah. Well, my story was basically that I didn't get, um, I didn't get, um, what do you call it, uh, N64 because my family did not believe in video games. It's a tuft of that old blind dog's hair. My, uh, Mom and Dad did not care at all about uh, video games. They thought they were all a waste of money. So I had to get a Game Gear, or my he mother bought me a Game Gear. But I might need it. My mother got me a Game Gear back in 1991, and I had to hide it from my father because he would go nuts if he knew. Miller the Sot. Here lies old Miller. He's far past his prime. He drank some weed killer with a half twist of lime. Nope, I didn't even get a PC yet. I didn't get a PC until 1997. I had a Game Gear in 91, got a Nintendo 64 in 1996, and then finally in 97 I got a PC. The only way I could play these games was on my uncle's computer back in like 1980s to 1990s. That's... oh, yes. Wait, did I get the egg? Ah, no, I didn't get the egg. It reminds you of your family. Yeah, like I said, pretty much anybody who's a strict console gamer will never like point and clicks. Point and clicks are the PC realm. So it's not surprising you don't care for point and clicks. Not surprising at all. In fact, I don't think anybody who likes Mario would probably like point and clicks very much. They're just too slow for some people when they require fast-paced games. 
But sometimes you just want to relax and have, play some puzzle games, you know? Puzzle games are for the mind. You know, they um, work the brain. If they didn't get rid of them. Give me that cheese. Special cases. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be playing Mist. Not now, but I will be playing Mist. I'll be playing Real Mist. I've beaten Real Mist. It's actually not that hard. Riven is actually insanely difficult, but Real Mist, not real. Like Zelda? Ah. Uh, I don't think Zelda's puzzle heavy. No, Zelda's not puzzle heavy. <laughs> Zelda has puzzles, but it's not puzzle heavy. This is puzzle heavy. This is nothing but puzzles. I found this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. Pepper. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. Eggs. Here's some hair of the dog. Did he bite you? Well, not really, no. Damn it. Ooh, then it doesn't do me much good, does it? Oh, is my head ever ringing? Let's see. I need to find something that the dog will eat. Ah, biscuit. Maybe a biscuit. Let's try the biscuit. I, I could swear there was a bone somewhere. Let's try this biscuit. I don't think he'll like it. PC days. You really like Command and Conquer? Ah, Age of Empires. Yeah, I have that too. Ow! He bit me! There we go. Hair of the dog. Now we have some hair. Yeah, I have Command and Conquer. I have physical this copies is some of, of the hair of the dog that bit me. Command and Conquer. Shh. Eggs. And Warcraft. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. I have a collector's edition of Warcraft 3. <laughs> ah. Much better. Yeah, you can take the rest. <laughs> Your PC would slow down. I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. <laughs> you may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well... Oh, this was once our proudest resort. In recent years, however, Hard times have befallen the family, Good Soup, and left me alone in this rotting hotel. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. What do you know about the lost ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great-aunt Minnie Stroney of Good Soup was a well-to-do member of Blood Island Society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates. One in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic Good Soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the Good Soup family tomb. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Get lost, Chowderhead. RTS-style Warcraft was better. <laughs> yeah, if they made a new one. Warcraft is. You tried it and couldn't get into it. 